Let's start Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. Chicken slide. Nope. <laughs> TV is in denial and believes that he has perfect vision, but only one of us has got LASIK, so. More of a testament to why I have good vision, because I didn't need LASIK. Nope, you're in denial. Fountain. Fountain. Because it's in water, like a fountain. Fountain. Yeah. Oh, yes! <laughs> As someone who has worked in building management, there's plenty of slackers, so if you ever want to get on top of a building. No, 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 hold, no, 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 hold up. <laughs> we cannot advise people. I'm not advising people no, 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 to go no, no, up no, no, there. No. But if you are a responsible adult. No, 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 If you're no, no. a responsible adult. We are not advising anything of the sort, sir. I'm not telling you to go up to the top of a building, but it doesn't hurt to check if the doors are open. Stop it. You stop it right now. <laughs> They're very lazy. Guys. We advise no such thing. We don't tell. Don't do not go up to the top of buildings. Stop that. Do not go up to the top of buildings. You stop it. But if right you're now. ever you're curious, just give it a shot. I don't have a mute button over here. <laughs> this reminds me of the movie The Pianist. Oh yeah, that was very uh, bleak as well. Finally escape the watchful gaze of your keepers, Hadley. Oh, it's because Thancred is uh, invisible and he can invisible. Because we learned that in the last instance, that Thancred can be invisible. Yeah. Don't yeah. react. You'll only draw attention to yourself. Just carry on as you are and listen. After you left with the Garlean lad, Lucia bade a few of our scouts follow you at a discreet distance. We observed you being led into the station, but decided against venturing inside. When you emerged some time later, and we saw that the twins were sporting Magitek collars, it was clear what had taken place. Now, as quietly as you can, <laughs> tell me everything. Don't look around. Thank Red. Because what? everything... Because you'll you'll gain suspicion. But how are but we supposed to stuff. do that? But tell me everything. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Stop looking at him. The legatus himself, eh? Now there's a surprise. This is also the first I've heard of a plan to join forces with the tenth and storm the Tower of Babel. I read it as the Zith. Is it, is it the Zith? The Zith. An interesting development. And perhaps the opportunity we've been waiting for. Our comrades back at the camp also received some rather promising news. But it's still too early to get our hopes up. For now, keeping yourselves out of harm's way comes before all else. Whatever demands the Garleans make, indulge them. With luck, this will all be over soon. Until then. Why are you just standing there? They had there? not gone far. We searched high and low, but no luck, I'm afraid. I might have guessed you'd be the only one to find anything. That's because we're the main character. I wasn't expecting much to begin with. Eventually, there will be nothing left out here for us to safely salvage. For now, this will have to suffice. We should return to the station. More talky-talky. Ah, oh, there you are. Heard you'd gone hunting for Ceruleum above ground. Aye, aye. Brought back a king's ransom? Hardly, but thanks to these three, we have enough to last a little while longer. Well, well. It's not at all as I was expecting, these ones. But for savages, they seem positively docile. <laughs> hmm. 
Uh, it's a poor attempt at humour. In all honesty, I'm grateful for your efforts. But even with another night of warmth, there are those among us who may not live to see the morrow. I trust your expedition was fruitful. Lord Quintus! We know that amount. Use what you procured to refuel the armor. <clears throat> but, sir, what about the heaters for the camp? The time for action is upon us. My men and I have matters to discuss. In the meantime, you are to wait here. Do not forget, you are being watched. The time for action. What did he mean by that? I can only speculate. Clearly something requiring their Magitech, given what we just heard. Whether they plan to utilize it now, or after they join with the Tenth, is another question. Now blow stuff up. Will they ever escape this cold? Return to and reclaim the idyllic spaces of which Eulis spoke? Eulis. <laughs> Finished your war, Council? Alphino and Alizea are to stay here, as our prisoners. They will be released once your comrades have relinquished their supplies and withdrawn from Garlean soil. Until our terms are met, they will be detained at a separate location. What the hell? Well... After everything we've said and done, this is how you treat us. Our allies have but limited supplies. They may stave off cold and starvation for a short while, but what then? For now, For now, keeping yourselves out of harm's way comes before all else. Whatever demands the Garleans make, indulge them. Everything will be right. Just have faith. That's such a tiny button. Get them out of here. This house. This is my home. Our home. Oh. At least it was <clears throat> until that night. I was with Lord Quintus when the capital fell, and thus spared. My family 
who did not own a radio were less fortunate. Oh my gosh. When dawn came, I made my way here. My parents, my little brother and sister, they were still inside. But they weren't themselves, and they... They tried to. And I had to. I had promised to take them away from the capital that very morning. To somewhere safe, to hide until the mm. fighting stopped. Gosh. I promised. The Garlean flag bears a chain. Mm. The bonds between our countrymen. A red link at its center. The blood of the fallen. Mm. Our loved ones who lived and died for Garlemald. But if she too fell, who would be left to remember them and their sacrifice? What enduring proof would there be that they were ever here? Mm. If we had turned to your gods, would they have saved us? Oof. I'm sorry, you forget I spoke. We should go. No use. Believe me, I do not enjoy being here any more than you. But she wanted us to play along, so that is what we will do. Bundle up, Alfie. Gotta stay warm. It's so cold. Painfully so. Unbearably. I've been thinking about what Quintus said. About why no one would accept Garlean rule. Irreconcilable differences. When coexistence isn't an option, only conquest remains. Varus at Gimlet said much the same. Only by uniting the world beneath a single standard would we rid ourselves of the Asians. United as one people, one race cleansed of imperfections. A cold and unforgiving vision. And when we fail to live up to their standards, what place is there for us in their world? But the truly sad, truly frustrating thing is how damnably similar it all is to the lofty ideals of Father and the Forum. Mm. Non-intervention. Always non-intervention. Protect our knowledge and our people, and to hells with the rest of you. Hmm. And yet, I can see how it happened. Varys and Father looked to their elders for guidance and took their virtues as their own. But for this world was of their making. In who else could they place their trust? All of us lost in a sea of chaos. Searching desperately for purpose and meaning. But it shouldn't just be an extension of another's. It has to be ours. It has to be. We all have a stake in this world. No one should be silenced. 
I won't deny that we lack the experience of people such as Father or Quintus. Perhaps they've come to see the world as a series of problems, and the most efficient way of solving them, to reduce everything to fundamental forms. A stone is a stone, a cloud a cloud, a flower no more than that. Simple descriptions that strip the subject of distinguishing characteristics. A man is a man, divided according to race, creed or allegiance, and to some, defined by such associations. Is that what you think? In my misbegotten youth, but what I believed wisdom was no more than aggressive ignorance. Mm. Oof. I've since learned to look beyond the banners and the politics. To see people as individuals with their own hopes and dreams. As for my dream of building a better world, well, every day I'm reminded that it is far more complex than I had ever imagined. But it only spurs me onward to find the wisdom and the strength to see it through to the very end. <laughs> Character development. That's it. <clears throat> All of our supplies and an immediate withdrawal. These are your conditions. Demands. And you forgot about the airship. Once again, you will leave one behind. It will be used to return the prisoners. Their collars will be removed prior to the exchange. So in the end, not even Father's expertly worded rhetoric could deter you from your chosen course. Huh? Not that I thought for a moment that it would. I've no love for violence, of course, but ours is a cause worth fighting for. I just wish he'd realize it too. Yeah, he was painfully ignorant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. Alfie was not my favorite character in ARR. Yeah. Sometimes the only way to protect the ones you love is to take a stand to refuse to suffer in silence. Oof. What was that? I don't know what that was. I want you to know I share your conviction. Whether it be on the battlefield or in the debating chamber, I won't back down. I guess what I'm saying is... I support you. You've found your own reason to fight. That took a while. She'd been looking for that since Bahamut. Yes. Yes, I have. God's willing, there will come a day when we can finally lay down our arms and there will be peace. But not until the Telophoroi have been defeated once and for all. And you, brother, will have a vital part to play. By your words and deeds, you'll lead the way. I pray I am up to the task. There'll always be naysayers. Those who think us fools for even trying. It's easy for learned elites to criticize earnest efforts and assert their moral superiority all without offering alternatives. See, stop giving me problems and come to me with solutions, bro. Not that their sophistry has ever wounded you. So stubborn and strong, stronger than you even know. Don't ever change, you hear me? If you stumble, I'll be there to catch you or give you a thick ear. Maybe both, for good measure. <laughs> Thank you, Alize. Alize. 
is a big moment for them. See. Oh. And a whole scene to themselves. Oh. Thank Rid. Oh. Oh. Hello, Mr. Dragon Rider. They have The scouts have secured Alizé and Alfino. Their collars were removed without complication as well. They report no casualties, not for their party nor the guards who will wake from their premature slumber in due course. Oops. Plan. Diverted. It would appear the situation has changed. I propose new terms. We have information that will be of great interest to Lord Quintus, and I wish to speak with him in person. Oh, finally. Man. <laughs> I was afraid that we were really going to be just... Ugh. No. In the event you rejected our first proposal, we came prepared with a second. Oh. Crap. Ambush! But they only got a couple of them. More are coming! Make ready! We, the loyal soldiers of the First Legion, proud servants of Garlemal, of the fallen Emperor Varys, shall safeguard these lands from the barbarian hordes until our countrymen return! Oh, Euless. I don't even uh, want to fight these guys. Stop, both of you. Wow. This child may be the worst emissary I've ever seen. We received an urgent communication from the Grand Company of Eorzea. Envoys from the Imperial Army, led by members of the 10th Legion, came to Alamigo and requested an audience. They explained that their efforts to coordinate the reclamation of the capital with the aid of the 4th, 5th, 8th and 12th had ended in failure. Communication between most legions has broken down entirely. Most of the 10th's conscripts have deserted leaving their forces severely depleted. That is why, unable to continue the fight on their own, they and their allies turn to the Grand Company of Eorzea for aid. Lies! Every word! We knew you'd it say It is that. the truth, and I have not finished. The Tenth has requested that we deliver a message to Lord Quintus. Have the ill stand down. Ill. Ill. You have been listening, my lord? What... What are your orders? <sighs> Stand down. Inform her... that we will honor the Tenth's decision. Wow. Bereft of hope, and now dignity. I release you from your duty. All of you. I take solace, your radiance, in the knowledge you are not here to witness our debasement. It was a grand, glorious dream we shared. Of a world united. Of peace and prosperity. We are ghosts, you and I. Memories of days gone by. Bonds forged in blood that I will not see tarnished. Uh-oh. 
before it's too late. It didn't go, it, it's a different scene now. If there is still a chance that Quintus will agree to a truce, we must take it. I just hope we get there before he and his men do something rash. Uh-oh. Thancred wasn't there. It was too late. Dude, trigger warning. Trigger warning. Here we go. Here we go. Is that all of them? The last of those who agreed to join us, yes. We left heaters and provisions for those who wish to stay behind. They won't last forever, but hopefully they'll last long enough. For now, I think everyone's earned a rest. We'll see to those in need of medical attention, so take the others with you and get yourselves some hot soup. Marvelous, isn't it? All thanks to the resourceful machinists of Ishgard, I might add. On their behalf, I bid you warm yourself to your heart's content. Hold on. Your people might have scribbled a few things on a piece of parchment, but it was <laughs> our Leminson Smiths that put the bloody things together. Well, be that as it may, we single-handedly got the interior heating up and running again, didn't we? The hells you did! We were there every step of the way! We? You barely raised a finger to help, you ale-sodden reprobate! <laughs> I did a damn sight more than you, you lily-livered bilge rat! <laughs> oh? <laughs> Take that back! They are most definitely. Make me. <laughs> I will not stoop to your level. 
Here. At ease, man. There's nothing funny in it. <clears throat> this chocolate is hot chocolate. I'm from Alamigo, but was a conscript until recently. Used to eat this with the officers. Apparently, it's adapted from a step recipe. This is my first time trying it. And I have to say, it's not half bad. Mmm. It's a bit too flavorful for my liking. <laughs> he probably likes tea. Mm -hmm. yeah. Perhaps bread? compared to what you're used to. <laughs> is he a fish bread guy? No, he's a he's a Gradanian. And they, oh. They're full of um, forests there, so they probably drink tea from plants and stuff. the little things that make life worth living, don't you think? Mm. Mm -hmm. I know this is not a dream, and yet... I felt the same way at the Dragon Song War's end. Every morning I would step outside and need to be reminded that it wasn't my imagination. That my world had been forever changed. And just as I had grown accustomed to the idea, again, you change my world in ways I never thought possible. Were it not for you and your fellow scions, the rift between man and dragon and myriad tribes might never have been bridged. The grand company of Eorzea the Ilsebad contingent. We owe it all to you. You're welcome. We've shed many tears in recent days of pain and sorrow, triumph and joy. I much prefer the latter. As do I. As do I. I'm honored to fight by your side. As an Eorzean and Galian both, I shall do all in my power to bring my peoples together. It is a remarkable achievement. Everything that I and the Popularis had hoped for, and more. Would that it had come sooner. Indeed. Too many are not here to see it. And yet, there is a warmth in my breast, as if they still share in this moment. Yes, I know what you mean. On a night like tonight, the wind and cold seem to pass me by. Is it the color of peace? Oh. Which color is it?
Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, that was so nice. Uh oh. Oh, we got shields, guys. They got shields. Good thing we had things to protect us from it. The scales. He didn't have skills. What? Emperor Varus? Oh, oh no, why didn't gosh. they give him scales? Oh no. They are being tempered! The talismans! Oh no. Quickly! Should have thought of that. Chuck it at them. Uh, 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 now we all need to gather around the radios. Oh my god. Save me, brave hero! Ahem. My lord has requested your presence, and I would hate to disappoint him. Oh, crap. Man, every time we try and sit around a fire, bro. <sighs> That's why I told you it's a lie when they say, oh, we got to run. The experiment was a success, but I fear our time is short. Crap. Who did they take? They took some money. They took us. I, I shall begin, begin the preparations. preparations. Now. It is time for you to awaken. Oh. First person perspective. Good morrow to you. Here, have a taste before it gets cold. Oh, but be sure to remove your helmet. Take a moment too to familiarize yourself with that borrowed flesh. So, how does it feel? I, for one, find those first moments within a new body to be most refreshing. We had a Magitech engineer by the name of Aulus to thank for this method of soul extraction and implantation. I believe the two of you met briefly in Alamigo. His was a rather sticky end, wasn't it? Thankfully, he was thoughtful enough to leave behind his mind jack technology. I took the liberty of making some improvements and selecting you as my esteemed test subject. <laughs> this is such a pain in the arse. because he's Fandanyo. Come now. To us Asians, it is no different from trying on new clothes. Why not make the most of it by partaking in this fine cuisine? You know how long it took for me to get my glam? Are you gonna put me in this? Come on now. I must say, I have gone to great lengths to reunite you with my lord. When I discovered that his friend was in this neck of the woods. I suggested inviting you over for dinner. He never deigned to respond, but I took his silence as a resounding yes. What's that? Must be a dragon. Oh my! Daddy is pleased his grumpy little boy has finally found his playmate. Oh, they revived his dad? Ah, exposition is in order. The Garlean Empire has long outlawed all forms of religion. No gods to worship, no risk of summoning. Brilliantly simple. But people being people, 
must turn to something or someone in their hour of need. Who then? Why, his radiance, the Emperor, of course. As you have observed firsthand, Garlemald has seen better days. The legendary Solasos Galvus, dead. Provinces near and far in open rebellion. Our bold new emperor assassinated. And that last one even sparked a civil war. What rotten luck. The people cried out for salvation. Their earnest pleas, one might even call them prayers, a supplication united for the Empire to reclaim her former glory. And so their will did manifest, channeled through the corpse of none other than Emperor Varus himself. And lo, the ah, saviour was born. Anima. The embodiment of the Galian spirit. Their anima. But a male anima. Animus? It calls to its no. subjects, it's in Final compelling Fantasy. them to take up arms Ten. and fight. You saw Anima. That was a uh, Seymour's mom, and he he summoned her all the time to to kill stuff. If you remember watching Final Fantasy X. And just as the wealth and power gravitate towards the Empire's capital. So too does ether from every corner of the globe. The towers with which you and your allies have been so preoccupied were created as an extension of anima itself. An ingenious design. Would you not agree, my lord? Does the pursuit of prey you have bested before excite you? Of course not. Absent the challenge, the thrill, your prize is a hollow victory. Butchery. True that. <laughs> it's the swag. <laughs> it's fabulous. <laughs> Perhaps you think that to be the extent of my promise. I have no doubt fallen in your estimation since Alamigo. Fair enough. But do not let your disdain deprive you, deprive us, of an opportunity to craft an even more majestic moment of euphoria. I have been honing my craft as I set the stage for our reunion. Wheresoever there is suffering and despair, you appear to fulfill your duty as defender of this star. The chaos and destruction that my hordes have wrought are my gifts to you alone. I don't want those gifts. Well... At a loss for words? No matter. As you will learn, I have only just begun. Only just begun. Oh, will you not finish your meal? There is only one thing that can sate my hunger. And it would seem my friend has lost her appetite. I hoped this display of civility might prove an entertaining diversion 
But clearly, we are above such pretensions. So he basically just said, Come While my bro. lifeless body was in the possession of the Asya, I too claimed another's as my own. It was an enlightening experience to fight in an unfamiliar form. Flaws and failings in my technique were plain to see. Whence rises one's true strength? The flesh? The soul? Perhaps you should like to discover the answer for yourself. Just swap bodies with us. Stop it. Hey man, that is not cool. Stop it. He just took us. Oh dear. Whatever would happen if my lord were to greet your friends as you? I shudder to imagine what carnage he would wreak. We'd better hurry if we want to avert the bloodbath. You can thank me later for my generosity. Is your camp, I believe. If I were to hazard a guess, I would say that you, the other you, is making her way there as we speak. Alas, this you will have to walk from here, or run if you can manage it. My lord would be cross if I made it too easy. Such ingratitude. I'd not squander this fighting chance. After all, you've obstacles enough to overcome. Right on cue. Tempered soldiers, with standing orders to kill those not sworn to anima. Under normal circumstances, you would make short work of them. But on this occasion, the odds are not so heavily stacked in your favor. It does have a cool robe, though. I like his robe. Alright, here we go. So that's it for Final Fantasy. 